What is going to be the expected official system requirement for The Last of Us Part 1 for PC? Now what I have heard and according to reports, the system requirement for this game will look somewhat like this. We will be needing a storage space of around 79 GB, minimum RAM of around 16 GB, recommended RAM of around 32 GB but the talking point here is that recommended graphics card would be around NVIDIA GTX 1060 6GB which means that they want this game to be played by a huge audience so that uh, the last of us part 2 the release date of that game is also impacted by the sales of this game remember that if the sales of last of us part 1 for pc is huge then definitely the part 2 will come on pc very soon and also if you talk about the developers of this game you will notice one very interesting factor if you go to the steam page you will see that they have just mentioned that the developer are naughty dog llc but if you go to the uncharted page you will understand that when Uncharted game came for the PC, they got the help of a third party studio which is Iron Galaxy Studio. But with the game, The Last of Us Part 1 for PC, they are working themselves. I think they want to uh, get the experience of doing a PC port. That's why uh, they have not involved any of the third party. Uh, that's why they are doing it alone. No Iron Galaxy Studio and, and no other third party gaming studio uh, is named or being announced from Naughty Dog as well as from PlayStation which means that Naughty Dog is currently doing the PC port all by themselves but the learnings uh, which PlayStation Studio has got from the previous releases of the game if you, if you look about Marvel Spider-Man Remastered as well as Miles Morales you would understand uh, that they are not going to increase uh, the requirements of this game especially Especially when they are releasing the first part of the game, if you would see the Marvel Spider-Man remaster, you will, you will understand that the system requirement was very good. So that a large audience of gamers would be playing that game without any issue and the minimum and recommended settings were made in such a way that all the gamers, a huge gamer number would be able to play this game. That's why Marvel Spider-Man remaster was successful. That's why Miles Morales was successful. A similar thing is going to happen with the last of us part one for pc that's why they want to keep the system requirement uh, to a minimum level so that a large audience would play and that's why the sale would be high because a, a, because a huge number of gamers would be trying that game and if that game is successful if this game is successful which means that the last of us part two will also be coming because remember the sales of this game is very important if this tops the chart then definitely you'll be seeing the part 2 coming for PC very soon. Uh, maybe next year by 2024. That would be a realistic time by which uh, Last of Us Part 2 would be coming. But all depends on the sale of Last of Us Part 1. And hopefully uh, when it releases on March, the sales of this game is, good. It is very good. Because I, I know a lot of gamers, a lot of gamers are waiting for this PC port for so many years. We are going to get this PC port on March hopefully a lot of gamers play this game so this was all about the system requirement for last of us part one this is about Sumit charismatic if you if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe it because our next target is 11k subscriber hopefully we achieve that target as soon as possible and also follow me on instagram and find out which games i am playing and not bye bye take care keep supporting keep loving and always always keep gaming